If we hadn't, you can see right up here, I didn't put any powder in it. All I had was glue up here. If I hadn't put any powder in there, that matches this kef to a T. I mean, that looks as natural as can be to me in that area. Down here, maybe off just a little bit. It looks like it's been painted a little bit. But still, find that right color. But I mean, I'm telling you, these paints are incredible. I mean, there's something that'll match about every one of them. We have had kind of an oddball dude that, you know, we had to mix and match a little bit uh, to get it to match perfectly. But I think those paints have, have come a long way from where we began and what they can do to, to kind of put that together. Um, real quickly, I'm going to show you one other really cool thing. This powder, once again, just to talk about it being dry, show you kind of a neat little deal that we've started doing, and we did it last week. We were fortunate enough that my daughter won her breed and got to go into the Supreme Drive. Well, we didn't have enough time to completely break that animal down wash it out, dry it, but we had to let that heifer lay down. She had to rest. She had been up for six straight hours. We couldn't keep her up. One, to wash her, clean her up, refit her, and go again. So we needed to let her lay down. Kurt taught me, or Kai taught me this trick, that after we've done all that, and we've put all that glue and all that paint and all that powder and everything in there, we took this powder, recovered everything with powder, because it's dry, whoa, let it sit for a short amount of time. Look at that. Everything we did just brushed right out of that kiss hair. I don't know if you can see it or not, but all that product is right there on the ground. We did that right there. We blew her out. We laid her down. We got her up an hour later for that Supreme Drive. Refit her just like we did. Well, I'm telling you that as an one, it's, a, it's something you can take note of because if you've got to refit one in a short amount of time and they've got to rest, that product, that deal right there works. I mean, it works really good. I don't recommend it as a total breakdown system, but for something like that, it works really, really good. We were able to blow that thing, that thing right out, refit it, just like it had nothing in its hair before. So, something to keep in mind, I think works pretty slick. Um, we've fit the calf, we've showed the calf, we're done showing. It's time to pack up and go home. Guess what we're going to do now? Right, we're going to break down the calf and do the thing I hate more than anything in this industry. How many of you truly like going to the wash rack? Breaking them down, getting oil and paint and grease, all of you. All, all just covered on you. Man, you need to come to Oklahoma too. I'll give you a job because that's something I don't like to do. Okay, break down oils and, and what Weaver has and what they have out there. For us, our go-to deal is a Pro Refit. I think it's a pretty good product. We like it a lot. There, there's others. There's Pro Remover. They sell ease all products. They have a... What is these all one called? It's a it's a breakdown something, but you know the the, the refit is our go-to. I do not like breaking these cattle down, blowing them out, and putting them on a the trailer and going home. Whether we like it or not, there are agents, there are chemicals in these things that are not natural to these cattle. Truth be known, everything we're doing to this critter and all these in this barn are not natural. God put them on earth to eat grass and make hamburgers, right? So everything we're doing to these critters is not what they were intended for. So I'm a big, big believer. You've done all that work at home to have that hair right. You spent all that money that day and that time to get that animal presented just perfect. Why would you just throw that thing on a trailer and go home? You just are just kind of raining on your parade of every all the hard work you've done for however long. I highly recommend get them broke down get them on the wash rack get everything out of them that you possibly can get soap in them get them washed out when we're done washing and breaking down we go back with pro charge it reconditions that hair and that body we just stripped everything out of them and it kind of gives life back to it the refit is definitely our choice for breaking them down
Pretty simple product. I like it also because it's an aerosol. You know, we're not mixing in a jug. We don't get it on us nearly as much. And one thing I really like about the refit is we can do all that, brush right through it, blow it out, go to the wash rack, way less mess to have to worry about. So like I said, I hate breaking these critters down. So definite go-to product for us when we go to breaking them down. I, I think that's the best product out there. It's our choice of anything that we use. I can't emphasize enough, guys, you spent all that time and money getting those cattle prepared. Let's make sure we break them down and do it right. Get that done, get soap back in them. When we're done, we put ProCharge back in there to kind of save that, save that hair and we're, you know, take care of it, keep it healthy and natural. Quickly, we went through hair working, we went through basic idea of clipping, we went through basic fitting, we went through things pretty rapidly. Talk about just a couple other little products that Weaver has and then we'll fire into some questions. They've got the new feed pan out. What's one of the latest trends in feeding, especially heifers? Have we seen a trend the last four, five, six years in females than we've ever seen before? How about belly? We want those girls with big old bellies. One swoop to them, we want a ton of rib and guts. Guess what, other than genetics, how are we getting that in them? feeding them. At our place, we feed a ton of fiber, and I mean a bunch of it. When I say fiber, I mean bulk feeds, cottonseed holes, filler agents, any of those things. And guess what? We're feeding those heifers a large quantity. These pans are pretty cool, so I no longer have to fill that pan twice now. I can put enough in there for one time, and it's pretty neat. I think those pans are pretty, uh, pretty neat. We've got a two-year-old bull. I promise you that guy could tear up an animal with a rubber mallet. He's fed one of those every day and he's yet to tear it up. So I think they're pretty tough on those terms too. Um, a couple of other little things that they've got that we're big fans of, these fit mats. You notice, you know, a lot of fit mats are a darker color. We really like these lighter colored ones, especially, you know, nowadays we're fitting on these legs, we're working on those bellies. We get, we get reflection from the light and kind of helps us see underneath they're way better. Christy's gonna take this around to the back side. I had a guy that I really look up to taught me this trick. We're clipping and fitting that belly. She holds that up there now. We can see that underline to a T. Make sense? For if we put a black one up there behind this calf, especially a black calf, there's no line. We can't see anything. So in our fitting room and on the sh at the shows, we keep those light colored mats. I think, you know, I started out today talking about their core values, being inventive and product, coming up with the latest thing. That right there is genius. I think having those is a really cool idea. Um, a few of the halters, you know, just some of these other products that they have. I was talking to a gentleman back here, in fact, a gentleman that owns this steer. We we're talking about our halter breaking methods anymore. You know, we used to bring those cell cattle in or whatever we were going to have, and it was crash course. Slap a halter on them, let them drag it around, get their heads sore, tie them to a donkey, whatever we had to do to get them things broke. We've changed our theory on doing that. We have gone to using the weaver halters with that slip ring right there. Because guess what? Hey, boys, I want all the boys to listen up real closely. If you don't have a girlfriend, one of these days you probably will. And if you walk up to her and you kindly and gently talk to her, she's going to be kinder to you. If you go up and ask her for a date like you're clubbing snakes, she isn't going to like that. Same concept in breaking cattle. These things are gentle on them. It's positive reinforcement. It's give and take. It doesn't suck down on their heads. These nylons can get wet. They can swell. Where the rope goes through on a regular rope halter, it can get tight on their noses. It's easy for them to eat. They're relaxed. I think that is a tremendous idea. And it's not so big that it's constantly falling off their jaw. I think it's a pretty neat invention that it's that small and it's just enough for it to be comfortable. They have the black halter here, the breaking halter in terms of it. Same exact thing, but look how long this thing is. When we're halter breaking those calves in the beginning and we want to get them tied up, 
at my place more times than not, my wife, my daughter, me, we're out there by ourselves. And if I've got to tie this thing up over there where Christy is, I can't reach that far. I think the idea of having a longer lead rope just to get him to that post to where we can come back behind after we dallied and walk him up. You know, it's just little things like that. I think Weaver's done a tremendous job of coming up with some of these ideas. Um, one other thing I need to talk about wrong time of year, but I'm definitely going to bring up the slicker comb, slicker brush. How many of you have ever used one of these? Awesome, good deal. How many of you slick shear your cattle in the spring? Okay, we do. You know, we, we got to get that dead hair off of them. But now that my girls are old enough to show, we get done showing middle end of March, guess what? We're going to turn around and go to a jackpot in just 60 days, 45, 60 days. So we don't want to slick them completely off. But we've gone to use them that in the springtime, and it strips that dead hair, but it leaves that new hair coming. Um, I think that's another great product. Where are we out of time? Guys, like I said in the beginning, we're going to go through a lot of stuff at a high rate of speed. We've kind of done that. Right now, Let's we're going to hit just a few questions, and then we're going to do the drawings and give away some products. Um, so we'll do that. But once again, when we're done, if you guys want to corner me, don't hesitate. Yeah, bud. Okay, he asked what do we do to clean our clippers. I had it right there. Um, I use that Pro Gloss. Sometimes when we're fitting, if they get real gummy with glue, I'll use that Refit. And we'll use that little bitty brush right there. It's pretty gentle on those clippers. And we just wipe them off with that. Yes, sir. What's the best soap product? That purifying shampoo. That's my favorite. Do you have a question, young lady? She asked a question we did not cover, and thank you for paying attention, lady, and keeping me on track. She asked about dyeing them. All right, we're going to get into a product I can't believe I skipped over. This pro dye that Weaver has, bar none, is the best in the market. We have used every form of dye that is possible out there. We all get those calves that get a little bit of brown tint to their ear. Some of them get that dead or hair, or they haven't got rid of the dead or hair, and there's some brown to it. We use this a lot. We actually dyed one two weeks ago before we went to Tulsa that didn't need dyed for the simple fact that it brought that hair to life and kind of gave it a little more pop. Tremendous product right here. What we do when we dye them is we go directly on a dirty calf. We don't wash before because we want to keep those oils in to try to prevent them from burning. I'm not going to say that every calf's resistant because I think they're all different, but we have very, very minimal amount of burning those cattle when we use this. But when we do, we hit the tails, we hit those check lines, we hit any of those spots that are tight on the clippers, short-haired, just to prevent any sort of burning. Yes, sir. Well, stay tuned. That's all I can yeah. say. Stay so, tuned. It is uh, in the process. There's a thousand shades of red, and uh, stay tuned. Yes. You'll, you'll appreciate uh, this next spring. <laughs> yeah, the, the pro staff's kind of been hinting and working on that because yeah, the red deal, there's more blacks than reds, but the red is a continuous growing popularity. You know, the red ink is still the, 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 the I, one of the best efforts to stay Oklahoma and the Lenny breeds a red one right now. So it, it's got some growing potential. And, like Chrissy said, stay tuned to that. But also, um, if you are trying to rich in that color, that's where this purifying shampoo just works great. There's optical enhancers in here that are designed for dark colors. Um, and so this is what's going to make those red shades more vibrant until uh, we have that special dye for you. Yeah, bud. The best, best soap to get a lot of that stuff out of them, that would be the degreaser shampoo. That stuff will get most of that going. Yes, ma'am. 
what businesses do I work with? <laughs> As in, give me a little clue. I think she's wanting to know who you're endorsed by. Oh, who am I endorsed by? Me, myself, and I. <laughs> All three of them are really broke. So if you want to endorse me, you give me your name and I will. you can pay me and I'll put your name all over my shirts. You know, Jason, this is a very popular thing though in our industry. Everybody has a magic, magic oil, magic sauce. Yep. Um, there's a lot of supplements out there. You know, Weaver, we just started carrying a lot of supplements, supplements that our pro staffers trust. Um, so if you have questions, you know, there's a lot of buzzwords out there. Hyaluronic acid, what does that do? You know, like, you know, there's a lot of things. Uh, there's products that help us retain water. If you have specific questions about those supplements, you know, each case is separate. That's where we are really proud of our dealers. Uh, we take education very seriously and so that they understand how all of these supplements work. Um, so if you go to our website, thewinnersbrand.com, we have a lot of information on the supplements that we carry, the science behind the product, and the ones that we're carrying, you know, we feel really confident in the quality of ingredients. Because really, if anything, whatever you're feeding your animal, it's that quality of ingredients. If there's some pharmaceutical reps in here, you'll agree with me that quality is important, you know, compared to a generic brand. Um, so if you have questions about some of those supplements, I recommend you working with uh, John Ludlow outside. He can help you with that. We can also answer, I can help answer some of those questions. Let's get a couple more and we'll give away some stuff. Do you have a question, sir? It does. So it um, is an olive oil based product. Yes, we already handed it out. Um, it's an olive oil based product, so that's where it's great for days where you show early in the day and you have a final drive later that night. All right, so it's olive oil based, that's a product and oil that we have found that we can rinse out and get it enough out of the hair that we can refit that animal, hence the name Pro Refit. Um, so it's olive oil based. If you can hear, there's a lot of torque to that can. And uh, that gets the job done fast, and it's got a wide span uh, for a spray to get that uh, adhesive covered and broke down. Um, so there are other essential oils in there, but the primary active ingredient is the olive oil. Uh, ladies, how many of you really get upset when your nails get ruined from breaking down a calf? Uh, those harsh chemicals from breakdown products take your, they eat holes in your acrylic nails or your shellac. And uh, so I really like that for that side of things. Um, it's safe enough to use. It's not going to strip your nail polish. And again, the olive oil is going to recondition the hide. It's probably the, well, it's not probably. It is the gentlest one on the market. I mean, it's, I'm not going to say you don't need to wash it out, but because I'm a believer in that. You need to get them clean. But that one is the gentlest one on there. You, you're not going to harm one with it. But it works. It's, it's going to do its job, but it's, again, safe for you to use. Um, don't mean to sound like a commercial, but um, you know there's a lot of moms, dads out here, and I think as consumers, we and our and our customers, as livestock producers, they want to know where that beef came from, how it was raised, what it was fed, and um, I think us as livestock producers care what's in the products that we're using produce quality beef, great tasting beef. And you know, it even comes to fitting products to exhibit them. And something I'm really proud and one of the reasons why I um, use Weaver products is because they're safe for me and my family to use. Um, there's a dangerous chemical in aerosol products um, that is a drying agent called methylene chloride. And it's a cancer causing agent. And that's something that when Weaver started 10 years ago, that we didn't even mess with putting in it to make our adhesives and our paints dry faster. We found alternative sources to use drying agents to keep our products safe for you guys. We don't want you to have to wear a gas mask to fit cattle, you know? And I don't mean to scare people, but that's something from the quality of ingredients that we use in our daily care products to our aerosols. It's thought from A to Z to keep it safe for you, your family, and your livestock. I'm going to back Christy up on that. that. That's one of, I talked about the core values of Weaver. That thing right there, in my opinion, he's thrown in the core values because that, that, that's a big deal. You know, I said, are we raising cows or are we raising kids? And these cows, in my opinion, are helping raise these kids. That right there that doesn't have that agent in it 
knowing that we can turn these kids loose and it not have an issue with them to cause irritation, to cause a cancer, to cause an illness, that's a pretty big deal to us, especially, and I think most of you parents can agree with me, that that's a pretty big deal. What do you think, Christy? You want to give some stuff away? All right, all you all that got your hands up, this is awesome. I've had more questions at this one than most any of them. So when we're done, come find me. I'm going to answer your questions. For now, we're going to do some drawings and give some stuff away. All right, so the first thing that we're going to give, to give away today is our Circuiteer 5 blower. Our blowers, um, I can't say we hey. manufacture them. We have a great friend Christy. who manufactures the blowers. A ticket didn't get tickets. right Sorry. there. Um, give them to the keep this coupon. So our blowers are manufactured by Electric Cleaner Company. How many of you guys have grandparents or moms, dads that have that famous blue Circuiteer blower? Can everybody remember that blower? Well, throw it back old school. And they still work. By golly, yes, it. they do. You know, my grandpa's pretty proud of his, and uh, we, we still use it. It's, it's still kicking, and I think it's a 70s edition. So, um, yeah, Circuiteer, this, we're on the 5 model, Circuiteer 5. Um, and so, again, this blower's new. came out last uh, March, and um, it has two outlets on it because power is becoming a, a huge requirement. We all have smartphones to charge to keep us smart, and uh, we've got to plug in those clippers. Um, and uh, you may need to charge your drill for your drill uh, for your roto brush. So it has two outlets. Um, if you can see this plug, this is just really handy in my barn. But uh, it's light. It's lit up. It's bright green. That means electricity is running through. So if you're at a show, quick glance, you can make sure you got power. All right. So we have a rule at Weaver Clinics. Uh, so let's wake up. Let's get on our feet. Everybody's got to stand. We're going to give away the blower first. So everybody stand up. And um, I'm going to draw the ticket. I'll call the last three numbers. If I call your number, sit down, okay? So the last person standing is the winner of the blower, okay? So I'm going to count down from the last three. So the third last number of the ticket is seven. So we got everybody? Six. All right. So seven, six. The winner of the Circuiteer 5 blower is ticket 251767. Woohoo! And you even woohoo! That's awesome! Congratulations! Now, you always bring your mom to the clinic because the mom always wins the blower. Like, it's just, odds are great. So, congratulations. Uh, we'll give you this blower here at the end. All right, so I'm going to go through this pretty quickly, guys. Um, just come on up to the tables. First come, first serve. And uh, I'll call the last three numbers again. So 742. Everybody just come on up if I call your number. 775. So I'll repeat those. 775 and 742. And 767. 755. 755. 776. 776. 712, 781, 782, 702, 702, 702, 720, 720. Oh, hold on, Jason. I don't want to get these out. Sorry, guys. We're going to use a hold of them. Okay, we'll get these sorted out. You guys have any questions? Yeah, Bailey, that's a new brush. No, I'm sorry, you can't. All right, there's hat, pro charge, braking halter. <laughs> yeah. No, you can keep it, it's fine. All right. So, here, why don't you take hat? You can take the blender bottle, too. Okay, let's see. Oops, I accidentally took your clippers over. 782, 782. 721, 721. 736, 736. 774, 774. 770, 770. How many tickets? 
Yes. Oh, okay. Well, you need to go get them so they can figure out what they want. 619 619-619-7182-7182-7182-7182-7182-7182-7182-7182-7182-7182-7182-7182-7182-7182-7182-7182-7182-7182-7182-7182-7182-7182-7182-7182-7182-7182-7182-7182-7182-7182-7182-7182-